Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here with my July layout share. And July turned out to be a really good month for scrapping for me. I was able to get 22 layouts done, so I'm going to be showing you 22 layouts this month, which for me is a ton. I definitely think it helped that I had two online crops, one that went from the end of June into the beginning of July, and then the second online crop that was at the end of this month. And so I definitely think that helped in getting me to create quite a few pages. I did not get up a ton of videos. I have, there's a few, there's like five on my channel and then five or six on my channel for this month. And then I have my two on the Crafty Maven. So that's not too bad. I typically, because I have kids and craziness and I work full time, getting time to create videos and get them up on my channel is just sometimes really hard. <laughs> and so I will say I try to aim for one a week um, and that is usually my max and that's just simply because of how hectic life gets. And so I try to always make sure there's at least one up a week. I do apologize. Sometimes there's not. Life just gets in the way. but. I did want to show you everything that I created because I always think it's fun to be able to watch and see what other people are creating and even if it's just a layout share you can often get ideas from that. If you guys have any questions leave them down below I'll be happy to answer them. If you have questions about what I used or how I did something just let me know I would be happy to answer them or even create a video doing the technique or whatever you have questions on. I will also let you know I will have the link for Crafty Maven where my other two videos for this past month are as well as a link to the Redefined Creative website which is the owner is Christina Sorge who also has a, a channel here on YouTube and she is the owner of the Secret Not Secret Kit Club as well as the Creative Cuts Club. I am a member of both. And so the online crops are usually from the Secret Not Secret Kit Club and then the Creative Cuts Club, which is basically a cut file club. Those Most of the cut files that I use this month are from that cut club and so I wanted to make sure I link that down below. So if you're interested in knowing any more about either of those, you can always hop over to the website and get the information. So I will say because there's 22 layouts, <laughs> and I might get chatty. I will say grab yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or a snack and sit back and hopefully you'll enjoy just seeing what I got to create this month. And again, if you have questions, just let me know. I'd be happy to answer them and I will try not to take too long and give you just a quick overview of each of these layouts and I will tell you, I put all the ones that have videos toward the end so that I could tell you which ones were my channel and which ones were the Crafty Maven. And so with that, I will get started because there's a lot to cover and show you these fun 22 layouts. The other note that I forgot to mention is no, I don't have journaling specifically on these layouts yet. It is done. I just have to print it. Sometimes I print or type or handwrite my journaling. I kind of do a, a combination of all three. In this case, most of these I plan to, if I haven't journaled, either hidden journaling or on the back, I am printing it out on my computer this month and so I just haven't got to that yet. So for those that ask, yes, I do journal on my pages. I just haven't added it yet as of this video but it is done. So I'm staying on top of it. I just don't have it on the layouts yet. So first one up is the swim to me layout. And this is a picture of my son and he's in the pool and I'm actually standing in the pool. And I told him, Hey, swim to me. And so I snapped these pictures of him as he was swimming to me. I created this fun watercolor background through a stencil and it goes from like an, an, sort of an ombre from a yellow to a an orangey peach color here at the bottom. So just a really fun, summery, bright, happy, very much pool feeling kind of layout. Excuse me. I will say this 
what looks to be a piece of pattern paper in the background. This is actually not pattern paper. This is actually washi tape on white cardstock that I just lined it up, but the washi tape itself was like a wave pattern and I didn't really have any paper that was kind of fitting the theme or the colors that I wanted, but I had this washi tape. So I lined it all up on white cardstock and then I just cut out the strip and backed my photos. Such a great way to use your washi if you are not doing it. I know my wonderful friend Janet over on RTS Scrapbooking will often mention <laughs> the Vanessa trick as she calls it. I love her. and. Uh, she had remembered way back when um, on a message board that I had said that that's what I do with my washi tape because for me I have a hard time using washi tape because of the translucent nature of it. Sometimes I want that but sometimes I don't. A lot of times I like that I can take washi tape and for me I really enjoy putting it on white cardstock so that it then gives it stability as well as then it's not translucent and I can then either punch it or cut it or use it in a way different fashion than just having it on the layout as just a piece of translucent washi tape. So if you are not trying that trick with your washi, I highly recommend it. You can do so much with it. Put it on some white cardstock, punch it out. I put it through your die cutter, you know, mat your photos with it, create your own pattern paper like I did for this one. Yeah absolutely love it. And if you're ever looking for other ideas on how to use washi tape, putting it on white cardstock, definitely hop over and see Janet at RTS Scrapbooking because she uses a lot of washi tape and does that trick as well quite a bit. So hi Janet, if you're watching. Hi. So layout number one, if you have any questions, let me know. Layout number two is a picture of my cute little guy and this was for a challenge and we had to do a one word title and of course if you look at that little face how can you not call it adorable? So for this one I kept to a blue, a blue and green color scheme for this little dude because him with his long hair <laughs> he often gets mistaken or he often would get mistaken for a girl because well he has long hair but he was so cute and we kept it trimmed, but he always had long hair. He just has lots of hair, this little dude. And so I went with very boy colors, did some star background with some Distress Oxide and Paige Evans star stencil. And then just took lots of bits and pieces and created a couple of clusters. This is one of those designs that I often go with when I want to do a quick page. It's a very simple design, just one piece of pattern paper. I have some ribbon texture. And then I have my photo, which I popped up on dimensional foam. I distressed my edges of all of my paper layers, and I have this one cluster. It's a super easy design. I do it a lot. I just kind of change up what I'm using, but this is a common layout design that I will do just when I want to put a fast page together. So if you're ever looking for a fast page, do something like this. It does not take very long and it's very simple. You can do two pieces of pattern paper, like a bigger one on this side and a smaller one on this side. You can change it up a lot and still come out with different looking pages every time with having a very simple design. I also created this little yarn bow down here for this cluster and yeah. I just, I love this picture of my little guy. That face just melts my heart every time I see it. So cute. So that is the next layout. The third layout that I have here is of my daughter and she is petting a goat. So we were at a little sort of petting zoo kind of thing and so she was attracted to petting the goat. She loved the goats. For this one here, I'm doing a diagonal design, so my top left to my bottom right. I have a couple layouts where I go the opposite. This is sort of my preferred one from a left to right for diagonal clustering or diagonal embellishment, embellishing on a layout when I'm doing sort of a diagonal design, but I do have a couple this month that are going the other direction as well, so this one again all of my layouts, because I was doing so many and I was in taking part in some different challenges, most of them are pretty simple. There's lots of clustering, like this was all cut from a pattern paper, but I kept it pretty simple. This one uses 
a lot of items from my July stash kit. So you can always go to the video and see what I had in that kit. But again, my stickers make my title and just I have a little bit of mixed media around the edges with some tattered rose distress oxide. I just took my blending tool and did the edges. I have some Heidi Swap gold color shine mist in the background. Just kept it really, really simple and it's very girly and feminine because obviously it's a picture of my daughter. So I kept to that sort of feminine feeling with the florals and then the colors are very muted. Like it's like that dusty blue color and then this soft pinky peach color. So just a fun combination. I did a, I have a lot of like pink and blue layouts this month and a lot of like green and teal layouts. You'll see as we go along, I, you know, the colors that I like to scrapbook with by looking at these layouts for sure. Lots of blues, lots of pink, lots of teal, some green. So, you know, those are my main colors for sure. So love this one. This next layout is using a cut file and this is a cut file that I cut on my silhouette and this was not from the Creative Cuts Club, but I really like this color wheel design. It was kind of fun. So I created this cup, had created this cut file, cut the edge off and used it on this side backed it with some papers. I really love the combination of this purpley pink and the teal. I actually took my color inspiration from this piece of my mind's eye paper, which I don't know what the collection was originally for that, but I do really love how it turned out. And it's just documenting my daughter on her first day of fourth grade. And so all the embellishing for this one actually came from the Vicky Booten sticker book. I put the stickers because they're see-through. I put them on white cardstock again and did sort of what I do with washi and I cut them out and put them in my clusters. And so that is what I used pretty much for all the embellishments on this page. I created these little embellishments here with some word strips and some punched hearts and um, punched circles as well, just to, again, add a little bit of interest to the layout and everything for, uh, around my photo is popped up on Fun Foam as well as this cluster here, just again, to give it some sort of lift and dimension because the layout overall is pretty simple. There's really just these two embellishment clusters and that is it. So that is layout number four. Layout number five is definitely a very busy layout. There's lots going on. The two words here that say play and then the sunshine are from the Creative Cuts Club. So these came in our kit. And then everything else, I did some mixed media here with a stencil and some texture paste in this coral. And then I have lots of wood or not wood. Well, I do have wood veneer, but I have chipboard from the Sunny Days collection. So lots of bits and pieces, some stenciling up here, not some stenciling, but some stitching with this banner here at the top. And just some fun photos of a kids event that we had. And these pictures are actually, while they look like they are summer, because we live in Florida, they are actually from October. <laughs> because for us, we can have a water event nearly all year round because it really doesn't get that cold. So I really like this one. It's, we really are just playing in the sunshine in this one, getting wet, having fun with the kids. And so I really like how this one turned out. It's, it's busy, but the photos are busy. And so I kind of feel like it all goes together because it, it's got that playful nature and it's definitely the title definitely works with the photos because that is exactly what we're doing and we are playing in the sunshine for this one. This next one is called Just One More Minute and this is a picture of my kids and this is often the request every time we say it's time to go when we've gone to the pool because my kids will stay in the pool as long as humanly possible. If as long as we'll let them, they will stay in that pool. And so it's often the request of just one more minute. So for this one, I 
took some Martha Stewart pearlized paint and did some stripes here down the sides here and here and then along the bottom and so those became my sort of main embellishment or my main background elements on this page and then I just grabbed some um, strips of paper from my stash just from my scrap bin cut out some hearts from some pattern paper again cut these butterflies from some pattern paper this little flare that says my favorite season is flip-flops came from my creative cuts club kit I created this little shaker window with this little die cut clock which I thought worked perfectly with my title and so again I went with that blue and pink combination for this one I really love how it turned out such a fun sort of combination I figured my daughter and my son were in the picture so it was perfect to go together and I kind of took the color cue from the butterflies and from this pattern paper that both of these were from the sunny days Maggie Holmes collection and so worked out perfectly that's sort of where I took the inspiration and just a fun layout to document that one request that we get every time we are at the pool this next one I love this layout and I definitely would say that every month there's always a couple of layouts that I just I love how they turn out and there's nothing overly complicated there's nothing complicated actually about this layout at all but there was a mood board challenge for this past week's online crop and it was to use this red and this blue turquoise color I absolutely I and it's really funny because I have another layout that you're going to see where I used the same color combination. I did that layout at the beginning of July and I loved that layout and how those colors went together and then when the mood board came up it didn't even put it together until just now when I was putting on my layouts to show together. I didn't even realize that the two color schemes were exactly the same but I love this color scheme. I love this red with this blue turquoise color. It is it's just it's stunning I did just simple little circular stamping in the background I stamped these florals from an Alta new stamp set and just the the sheer fact of loving the color combination of this I just I love how the whole layout turned out again it's really simple there's nothing inventive really on this layout I just it's the colors that really to me make it pop this strip here is actually again that washi tape trick on white cardstock it was the perfect I needed something sort of this is just a banner or not a banner but a border strip that I had and so I wanted something to sort of cover up that seam so this little washi trip washi tape strip trick was perfect and I stitched through this little little heart wood veneer and added these enamel hearts again really really simple this picture is just of the ceiling art installation at the Polynesian Resort in Disney World we love the Polynesian we don't actually usually stay at the Polynesian when we go but we usually always visit the resort and I love this art installation I love the large bubble look of it hanging from the ceiling and the colors with the turquoise and the blues and the greens it just there's something about it I love it it's so it's very cool looking I always love the details that Disney puts into everything big Disney fan and so yeah I love how this whole layout came together this was like I said one of my favorites for this month so there's that one this next layout I did some stitching so I took just scraps from my stash in the green colors I really took the inspiration from this floral and just cut them into strips did stitching around the edges of each of the strips and then took the cue from it being outside so I have my butterflies in each of my clusters and hearts so that was kind of the theme that I went with to document these little critters that we sometimes get in our backyard we have a man-made lake in our backyard and 
So we've seen the occasional otter that'll come flying through every once in a while, but we often will see turtles kind of crawling through our backyard. So I was able to catch a couple of pictures. And so these are some of our backyard guests that we will have every once in a while. In the, and I snap a picture when I see them. So pretty cute. I even pulled out some wood veneer letters, which I have not used these in forever, but I have a ton of them. So it was kind of fun to pull out some different things that I don't typically get on my layouts or I forget to use. So kind of liking pulling those out and getting them used up. So this is just a fun one. I like the texture that the stitching adds in the background and the interest. So I got to use up some of these acetate butterflies that I had from an old, I believe these are hottie swap. And then these, all these little butterflies, I have them sort of popped up so that their wings aren't flat. Just again, to add that dimension to the layout. Next one up, this is using some bits and pieces from the Creative Cuts Club kit that I had. This textured piece here in the background, it was a cream color, but I took some spray ink and just dyed the trim to be shades of blue and green to kind of go with my photos. And then all of these shells here came from a piece of washi that came in the kit and I put it again on white cardstock, cut them out, and then I was able to use them as embellishments throughout the layout. I also cut some of the shells for this one from Maggie Holmes, one of her collections. And I used some stamping for these circular bubbles in the background. This was a Bow Bunny stamp set. If you want to know the name of it, leave me a comment down below. I will definitely let you know. But I love how this one has that sort of underwater feel. I think it goes perfectly with the photos that I have for this one. And all of these photos were just from the Nemo ride at Epcot. It's one of my favorite places. I love water. I love everything. In, I love all the sea creatures and all, and going to those different areas in that Nemo ride and just watching the fish and the seahorses and the jellyfish and the dolphins and all that sort of stuff. So I always take pictures every single time that we go to Disney at the Nemo ride. And so this is some of the pictures from one of our vacations. And I do love how it turned out. These circular embellishments or that I have in each cluster that I created for my cluster bases, basically. I just have a piece of white cardstock that I did some watercolor on with some gesso through a circular or through a bubble stencil. And it's hard to see it, but you can kind of see it down here on this one. So it's just some texture paste. And then I just die cut them as circles and kind of made those. It's just, it's again, just that added texture. There's lots of texture with this trim and these bubbles, even the stamped bubbles, and then these embellishment starters that I have for each of my clusters. Again, just gives me that textured, especially because my photos have like the, the coral look in the, and the pebbles on the bottom, you get that sense of texture from the photos as well as from the, the layout itself from the background has lots of sort of textural elements. And so I really love that, how it kind of just pulls everything together. So you focus on those photos. This next one uses a large cut file of this dolphin, which was from that Creative Cuts Club. And I created the background for this dolphin this was white cardstock. I sprayed it with this Distress Spray Stain in Blueprint Sketch, which actually came from the um, Creative Cuts Club. That was in our kit as well. And I just sprayed it on the paper and then did some splatters and created this fun blue pattern paper that I then backed the cut file with. I have an orange piece of pattern paper that I back just this inside piece of the dolphin. Of course, I pulled the colors for this from my photos because these are all pictures from the same Epcot p 
pavilion that has the Nemo and Friends ride, I took pictures of the clownfish, and of course for this one I kept to the clownfish colors. So there is that, the blue from the water and then the orange from the clownfish, and of course when you're photographing little clownfish, there's no other title to have other than Where's Nemo. So apart from that, I have just a little bit of embellishment apart from the cup file because the cup file is so large. I just have from that washi tape, I fussy cut again more of those shells and so they made the perfect little embellishments for each of the clusters on this one. And it's just a really fun page. It's a large cup file. I don't use a ton of large cup files so it was kind of fun to challenge myself to have a layout where I feel like my photos still stand out but yet I have a really large cup file on the page. Sometimes I have a hard time with larger cup files because I feel like they take over the page and your focus is less on the photos but this one I feel like I have I achieved a pretty good balance with you yes you see the large cup file but you still you're still drawn into the photos so that is the Nemo layout. Now this next one again is using a cut file from the Creative Cuts Club and this one is using my July stash kit. I just took pattern papers from that stash kit, figured out the sort of colors that I was going with. I want it to keep it sort of soft and summery feeling and so I used like this corally peach color this yellow and then this turquoisey green or more minty green I guess you could say color for the shells and so I backed all of the shells with those different pattern papers I backed all of the cup file on fun foam so that it added some lift and dimension to my pattern paper just to give it so it wouldn't be so flat and then I have some pictures of my kids from the beach. They were there with their friends and so I just did sort of a kind of like a film strip set up with the photos, added some chipboard for my title and just did three little clusters on top of the cut file. Again using more of that shell washi tape and just different beach, sun, fun, kind of phrases and embellishing that just scream like I'm at the beach and this is you know fun in the sun kind of thing. We don't go to the beach rarely ever and so these we don't have very many beach photos so this was kind of like the perfect cut file to use a few beach photos that we do have on a layout and so that is what I'm documenting for this one. The journaling for this one is definitely going to go on the back because I don't feel like I have a good place on the front. Maybe here I could put journaling. I usually like to connect my journaling somehow to either a cluster or my photos, just like I do with my title. And so I have a hard time figuring out where I would put journaling. So this one would likely have the journaling on the back, but a fun one. I really like how it came together. Again, I still feel like even though the cut file is large, my photos are the center star for the layout. This next layout is again using that color scheme that I said was from that mood board earlier this or at this last weekend's crop. I created this one at the beginning of July when I hadn't even seen that mood board and I, I love it. The, the color scheme just like the other one is really what draws me to it. The other thing I love about this layout is I created this large shaker pocket. I cut this mask on my cut cutting machine, so on my silhouette, and just backed it with a piece of pattern paper, or not backed it, but cut it with a piece of pattern paper, created this fun mask shaker with these little bubble kind of, they're not sequins, I don't know what they're called, but they're just super fun. I love the look of this giant mask with the picture of my son wearing his mask and I did that sort of diagonal design again but yeah it's really the colors that I just love of this one and it's just documenting the fact that my son loves 
wearing a mask in the pool. He does not like to get his eyes wet, and so for him, a mask is a must, and so I happened to grab this picture of him one day when he was going get, going and getting in the pool, and it was just the cutest thing, and so I figured a large mask uh, shaker pocket would be perfect, and I found these super old but extremely cute, because how cute is that crab? I mean, really? These are from, I think it was like Pebbles, and it was in this like paper envelope packet that they used to put their embellishments in. I'm not even sure if it had a collection, but I know they're old because they don't do those. I don't think they do them anymore, but I love, I love, that's where this splash and this little um, crab came from. So cute. So glad to find those in my stash. And so the embellishing is again, really simple, but I really feel like the mask and the picture stand out, which is what I wanted for this one. The background I created, which is a piece of white cardstock and some Distress Oxide around the edges. Then I did the, sprayed the water on it to give me that sort of distressed technique that the oxides do so well where you get that oxidization and it just feels like I, you know, I'm, I have like this water around the edges with the droplets. So I really do love how it turned out. Again, one of my more favorite layouts from this month. This next one is, again, that diagonal design. I had a lot of that this month. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm losing my voice. And this is just documenting vacation selfies that I often find when my daughter and I, when we're on vacation, she and I will take a lot of selfies together. I don't get a lot of pictures with her, so I'll take whatever ones I can get. And for this one, I actually took a cut file that came in the Creative Cuts Club kit, and they were a pair of sandals, but I wasn't going to use the flip-flops, I guess I should say. I wasn't going to use those, so I cut them apart and took all the florals from those flip-flops and backed them with some pattern paper that was in my July stash kit, layered them all up in my clusters, and it worked out perfectly to have this fun, feminine, floral embellishment clusters to use for this layout. I absolutely love how it turned out. There's lots of layers, lots of dimension. I popped things up. <clears throat> I did lots of layering, but again, it's very simple. It has that diagonal design and it, it looks, I think, really pulled together because of the fact that my clusters are they kind of have the same elements in each and they're popped up. They have some interest and some dimension to them. So again, really simple, but I really love the end result of how this one came together. So I'll kind of hold it up so you can kind of see the dimension on these. I created my own flare buttons as well with those epoxy discs and just some pattern paper pieces that I had. I just, um, punch the circles and then put those epoxy circles over top and I do really like how they turned out. They match sort of the colors and the papers and everything that I was using perfectly so I was able to put one in each of the clusters. So again, just a really fun layout. Really like how this one came together. This next layout was one I created for the one of the Hip Kit Club Facebook challenges, they do sort of a, a challenge every month, or not every month, but every week. Usually, I think it's, I think mo mostly all of theirs are a sketch challenge. And so for this one, the design, I literally stayed pretty true to the original sketch. So I used a stencil here in the background to create my sun rays, and then I have some pattern paper strips Everything here is pretty simple because, again, I was kind of sticking with the theme of that sketch that I was using. I did some stamping with these cameras and this documented, as well as fussy cutting some of these moss from one of the uh, Vicki Booten collections. So, again, really simple, but I really like how this layout came together. And this is a photo of my son and he had gotten on his seventh birthday, he got to go and he picked out two Pokemon. He loves Pokemon. 
So he picked out two Pokemon plush figures, and so he was showing them off in this picture. And again, really simple, but I really like it. It's just an easy design that to put together, and so I really like how this one came together. And like I said, it was for a challenge on that Hip Kits Facebook group. If you are not a member, you can go and become a member of the Facebook group. You don't have to use Hip Kit um, club kits or anything like that to enter their challenges, and they do like $10 gift cards to the store, and you can easily you know, pick up something in the store if you win one of the challenges. And like I said, you don't have to use their their uh, their kits at all to enter the challenges, which is kind of nice. And there's lots of inspiration over there as well. So again, this was using primarily my June stash kit, actually. I had kept that one together, and so I used primarily items that I had from that June stash kit. This next one was using actually a page kit that I put together on my channel a couple of months ago. If you look back, one of my videos I had put together a whole bunch of page kits from scraps in my stash and that was what this was from. And so I'm just documenting a picture of the pool and the fact that this is sort of my piece of paradise. So I just took different um, embellishments that I had in my June and July stash kits that matched the colors that I pulled in that paper kit and through this layout together with these three clusters and so I have just a little bit of Heidi Swap color shine sprinkled in the background for this one so just again the three clusters to kind of keep my photo in that triangular design to keep your focus there. Love how it turned out. It was super quick to put this one together because again I had that page kit. I just had to pull out the papers and it came together really really quickly. This next layout is one of my layouts that have a video on the Crafty Maven. I know that in the month of July there's a lot of people that do Christmas in July so I decided to sort of play off of that and make one of my layouts for the Crafting Maven this month be a Christmas layout and so I am documenting this little picture of my daughter in her Christmas Disney jammies in front of the Christmas tree. I am using a hip kit from December which had the perfect colors to go with the tree and her pajamas and so I have a cut file that from my stash that I backed with some vellum and then wood veneer and just all the different colors from that kit that were the navy and red that again matched the photo. Really simple. In the background I did some mixed media with some watercolor and a star stencil as well as a stamp that has a script on it. I just took some navy ink and stamped it in the background just again to give that texture and interest so that it just doesn't have a flat piece of white cardstock and then some papers layered on it. I like to add just a little bit of fun, a little bit of interest. And again, if you want to see how this layout came together, you can hop over to the Crafty Maven and you can check it out. It was my earlier in the month, so I think it was like mid-month, mid-July. This next one is the second layout I created for the Crafty Maven and it was, I showed this again was from one of those page kits that I put together a few months ago and I was using some Webster's pages was this pattern paper and then all of the stickers that are down the side here were from a K and Company um, sticker book or actually like pack of stickers. I don't even know if it had a name. They're very, very old. One of like the older things I have in my stash. And I just went through the sticker sheet and grabbed all the words that kind of reminded me of my daughter. And so I'm just documenting this picture of her. I even pulled out my letter stamps and did part of my title with my stamps. I used this fun peace sign stamp, some hearts, and yeah, it has that diagonal design, but then I have like the words down this, this right hand side. 
kind of a really fun design. I really like how this one turned out. It's girly, it's fun, it, it's her, and so I really liked how this one all came together. I don't think I'll add journaling to this one because this really says it all. And so this was a fun one that again, if you want to see more, you can hop over to the Crafty Maven for this one. The next layout or the next few layouts are all layouts that have videos on my channel. This first one is just documenting one of the restaurants that we like to go to at Epcot as a family. Everybody likes what's on the menu, so this one does have a video. I took this cut file, which I believe came from the hip kit, and I backed it with papers from my, this actually was from, again, one of those page kits that I had put together. It was not from either my June or July stash kit. It was from one of those page kits. So all of these things I had already pulled in that page kit. And so this layout came together super fast because it was already together in that page kit, ready to go. I just had to figure out which photos I wanted to use and put it together. So I like that I was able to get one of a cut file in. Those were my focuses this month were stamping and cut files. So a lot of my layouts you'll see have cut files or stamping or a combination. So I was glad to get some more cut files used up. So again, simple design, stacking of some papers. I distressed the edges. And like I said, if you wanna see how this one comes together, you can check out the video. All right, guys, we only have four, four to go. We're almost there. This, I think, is the last video that went up on my channel, which was called My Castle. And this cut file here is of a sand castle, and it was from the Creative Cuts Club for this month. I decided to not use it as a sand castle for a beach page and use it to document this picture of my house. This was taken the day we closed on my house, and I decided to use some of my Altenew washi tape, again, put it on white cardstock, cut it out. I put some on this steel blue cardstock and cut those out. I did some stamping here with the houses and then this label. So I got both my cut file and my stamping in on this one. Love how it came together. Love a wood grain with white splattered paint, one of my favorite things to do when I have a, a dark wood grain background. So really like how this one came together. I love the fact that I'm using a cut file that would traditionally be for a beach page or an outdoor kind of summer page to document my house. I think it's great to take cut files and use them in different ways. And so this was one of the ideas I had when I saw this cut file. And again, I really like how it come it came together. These colors, I said it in the video as well, these colors kind of were inspired from the colors that I have in my bedroom. And so I think it came together really well. So again, if you wanna see this one all come together from start to finish, you can check out the video on my channel. This is another layout that I have a process video for. It is using one of my cut files in this mermaid tail and documenting my kiddos who are both water babies, especially my son, but both of them absolutely love the water like their mama. And I do really love how this came together. I think this pattern paper from Maggie Holmes was perfect behind this cut file. I wanted to do the mermaid tail and have this whole layout be not super bold in color, but very sort of light and airy and sort of have that watery feel with the background paper and just this really muted um, mermaid tail. And I absolutely love how it came together. Everything on this layout is from that July stash kit. So yeah, I, Absolutely. This is again another one of those layouts that I created this month that I really love how it turned out. And I even got in some of those simple stories florals that I put in the kit for this month. So another favorite. And again, if you want to see how it comes together, you can check out that video. And I got some stitching in there around the edges too, which I'm always excited when I take the time to do some stitching because I do really love how it looks. 
this next one has a video up on my channel and this one I actually talked at the beginning of the video how I created and pulled this layout together with an inspiration being my photos and then going to my um, multicolored scraps and finding this camera print and building a page around this and my photos as inspiration. So I really love how this one came together. They're just pictures from the Main Street sort of dance party parade that they had. I don't know if they still have this parade, but it's one that we had stopped on one of our trips and watched. And so I was documenting that. And again, all of these things I just pulled from my stash based on the colors that I pulled from these cameras. So if you want to see how this one came together, you can check out that video. And last but not least, so if you've made it all the way to here, I applaud you because this was a long one. I don't typically do 22 layouts in a month. So if you've gotten here, you win a prize for making it through an epically long layout share. But this last layout was on my channel for my monthly celebrations hop that I'm a part of on the 15th of every month. And we document a celebration that we have or that we celebrate every month. In this case, I went with the 4th of July for this month and was documenting the tradition that we had for a couple of years where we rented out boxed seats at the baseball game and it had catered food and the kids loved it and so I was documenting pictures from that. I created again more of those yarn bows which are really fun. Lots of stars on this one and there is a video for this so if you want to see how it all came together you can absolutely check that out. With that, I'm going to stop talking and say thank you so much. And like I said, if you made it to the end, I applaud you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. And if you are a new subscriber, welcome. And I hope you find lots of inspiration. And with that, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.